Over the last five years, we've seen you know, many, many floods in North America, uh, around the world. We've seen uh, hurricanes, and many times a, a flood or a hurricane will inundate a drinking water facility or a wastewater facility and actually fill the treatment basins with flood water or maybe even uh, enter the plant and flood pumps and instruments and many equipment that they need to, to run uh, their treatment process each and every day and, and every minute. We had at least three wastewater treatment plants that were almost underwater. Then it becomes a safety factor. You can't get people into those facilities to operate them. So it, there's so many things you've got to take into account in preparation. So it was a common practice to, to, to go ahead and lower the level of the water in the reservoirs so that as all this rainwater would come in, you would have enough uh, storage capacity. So it's constantly monitoring, modeling that, saying, okay, if I have a three inch rainfall, that's gonna equate in you know, a two or three foot rise in this reservoir. So you lower it so you have enough room for that. The other thing this does is it helps to manage flooding downstream because if you don't lower it, all that water is going to be uh, transferred out of the reservoir downstream and create even more flooding impacts. What you'll want to do is know when the rain events are going to happen, be able to store that water on site in um, different structures or within tunnels like we have one here in Greenville, and then slowly feed that water into the treatment process. So during high rain events, when we're seeing flooding in parking lots or maybe the storm drains not be able to drain properly, all of the trash that you see that's on the side of the road or that's in a parking lot or that accumulates at Target is now coming down the storm drain or being washed to the river. The Vandalong is almost a year old. It was installed in late May of 2021 and we have caught over a thousand pounds of trash. It's sitting on the Reedy River in Greenville, South Carolina. The Vandalong is a floating litter catcher device. It sits about 12 inches in the water it doesn't harm aquatic life or wildlife. It's funneling trash that floats, floating debris into the trap where it can be manually extracted. A key element to preparation for storms is making sure that you've got your staff resources prepared. Communication is critical, knowing what parts of your system have, impact, have been impacted. Uh, we also work closely with other utilities in our area. For example, we would work with the drinking water supply, um, community, um, uh, public safety. They often become involved in the work as well as emergency management. The City of Columbia was impacted. They needed all types of testing equipment to help support that effort to ensure that their community was able to have the water supply needed. They in essence brought in small portable water treatment systems all throughout their service area to provide water to their customers, but as that water was being treated, it had to be tested to make sure it, it was safe to be used in different, you know, for drinking and for washing and, and things like that. So. With the increase that we've seen in heavy rainfall events and flooding, uh, it's important to consider uh, the impacts of these events. There's all things that we can do at the utilities and around the community to be better prepared and ask, did you know that all of these things are happening in our water cycle that maybe we don't think about every day?